Well, hi, everyone. I'm Dr. David Perlmutter. Great to spend time with you. You know, we've been talking quite a bit about uric acid, how uric acid amps up inflammation, how it leads to the formation and the storage of body fat, how it relates to things like insulin resistance. And that said, you might consider then that there would be a relationship uh, between elevation of uric acid and things like all-cause mortality and certainly a cardiovascular disease and risk from death uh, from cardiovascular disease. And in fact, that is the case. Let's have a look at some of the research. We're actually going to explore this notion of elevation of uric acid as a risk factor uh, for all-cause mortality, cardiovascular mortality, and even death from uh, artery blockage causing a stroke. Uh, in a pretty extensive study uh, entitled Serum Uric Acid Level as an Independent Risk Factor for These Things. And this study was uh, really quite uh, large, involved 41,000 men, 48,000 women, all over age 35 years. And it looked at all causes of mortality, in other words, death from any cause, as well as a total cardiovascular disease, uh, ischemic stroke, that's blockage of an artery, congestive heart failure, hypertensive disease, and coronary heart disease were all compared uh, to the level of uric acid in these individuals. And these uh, subjects were uh, followed for many years, an average of 8.2 years. And I want to just look at some of the graphs from the study because I think they're very, very uh, telling. This is looking at males, and this is looking at how many over that period of time, average of eight uh, years and change, uh, how the uric acid affects the risk for uh, cardiovascular death. Did you die of a cardiovascular event? And you can look at the, the, these graphs chart the number of individuals who are surviving or the, the rate of survival. Again, this is 41,000 uh, men that were studied, and you'll notice that those with a uric acid really high, like 7.1 to 9 or greater than 9, uh, their risk of uh, survival uh, is declining uh, quite significantly. But I think what's even more uh, telling about this uh, graph is actually the next one that looks at women. Watch that red curve. These are women with very, very high uh, uric acid levels. And what it's telling us is you know, there's a, a, a significant decline in the women who are not going to survive or didn't survive dying from uh, cardiovascular disease uh, that is plotted against having a very high uric acid level. And in, in this study, hyperuricemia is defined as having a, a serum uric acid of seven or greater, and that is de determined in the study to be an independent risk factor for all cause death from any reason, as well as cardiovascular death, not in all patients, or not only in all patients, but also in patients with hypertension and diabetes, and potentially even in low-risk subgroups. The adjusted risks increased 8 to 13% with every milligram per deciliter increase in serum uric acid. In other words, every point uh, increase of uric acid, let's say going from 6 to 7 to 8, these are all a point, there is this substantial increased risk of death and other of the issues that they followed, but specifically in this case for these two major endpoints and various other uh, cardiovascular disease events, including stroke, congestive heart failure, and even hypertensive disease. So the question would then be, why? Why is this happening? Why is there such a downside in terms of overall risk of death and certainly cardiovascular disease and stroke related to this elevation of uric acid? Well, what do we know about uric acid when it's elevated? It, it significantly augments the production of inflammation in the human body. Now, inflammation is seen to correlate with heart disease, correlate with uh, artery issues, with, with stroke and uh, coronary vascular disease as well. In addition, elevated uric acid correlates with elevation of insulin resistance. Insulin resistance, again, correlates with cardiovascular disease and not mentioned in the study, uh, is this relationship of both inflammation and insulin resistance to uh, problems with respect to the brain, like Alzheimer's disease. 
Elevation of uric acid leads to what is called dyslipidemia, specifically increase uh, not only in triglycerides, but changes in the cholesterol HDL ratio as well, which are disfavorable as it relates to the heart. The other thing that uh, elevated um, uric acid is associated with that then has a downstream effect in terms of risk of overall death and certainly cardiovascular disease is elevation of uric acid is associated with increased production of body fat leading to obesity. So this was a very big study indeed, and uh, it, it clearly shows strong correlations even with one point elevation uh, of the uric acid. And again, we reviewed some of the mechanisms whereby elevation of uric acid can do its dirty work, including inflammation, including insulin resistance, including increased body fat, and certainly including dyslipidemia. These are all known risk factors for example, for cardiovascular disease. So it's all about keeping our uric acid levels in check. These are things to consider, and we're going to be unpacking this in our new book, which is Drop Acid, The Secret to Losing Weight, Controlling Blood Sugar, and Achieving Extraordinary Health. We're going to be publishing that book in February of 2022. Want to learn more about it? Dropacidbook.com is the URL.